What up, Cafe One? Today, I'm here to expose everyone to modular music. Today, modular in the park. We are here in beautiful, older Los Angeles in the Atwater Park area. And uh, I think I found the right area of the park. Do we see some cords? Some weird color cords? I don't know, let's go see. Oh, I see some cords out there. In a King Crimson shirt. There he is. There What's is. up, dude? Hello there. I was just about ready to get started. So, uh, what you got in the bag, dude? Yeah. Secret sauce. This oh. is my this is my personal rub. Oh my gosh. That's right, ma'am. It's a um, it's a coconut palm sugar base. Can you open that up for me? Sure. Take a whiff. Oh my god. That's right. That's like that's like Cavenders on steroids. That's right. It's pretty popular. I did this a couple of times before. In fact, one person, you know, liked it so much, and he keeps bugging me about the recipe. I said, here, here's your own. Can you reveal what's in it? Yep. It is like, I would say, with a half a cup, you know, you put in here, three parts sugar, one part salt, one part pepper, one part paprika, one part um, chili powder, half a part, um, uh, thyme, half a part rosemary, and I think uh, tarragon. Cheese brown or white sugar? Coconut palm sugar. Coconut palm sugar. Coconut People really underestimate sugar. the power of the sugar for glazing and how, how important it is. Oh yeah. All right, so it's rub time. Rub time, baby. Very important. All, get all the crevices. Every single aspect. So while you're doing that uh, rub there, Damon, when you do, when you play a modular set, do you know what you're gonna do, or do you, or do you just like start, or you just start, you know, or you just start going at it, man? Well, you know, it starts with the sound designing. You know, I'm just kind of like, I, I just like, kind of have an idea of right. like, you know what modules I'm gonna use, and then sometimes there's like some spaces that are left over. I'm like, oh, what, what module that fits the HP? And then maybe some modules are probably, you know, modules that I'm, you know, I'll know and love, like oscillators and stuff, and others are logic ones. So I don't know sometimes what I'm gonna do with those. And so it never really comes to, comes to fruition until I actually start patching. And even if I know where the signal paths are going to do, I still don't know what the outcome is going to be. So, in a lot of ways, I, I, I come in it with the plan, but I come out with, with it just comes out the way it comes out. It's almost like jamming with someone. Sometimes you just don't know what the other person is going to bring to the table, and that's what the module does sometimes. Yep. Okay, so now that this is all nice, I'm going to put it right on. You sear that for about 20 minutes. I'm going to wash my hands. Let's check out the rigs. Demon's rigs looking sexy. Everyone's all rigged. I get anxiety just looking at all these cables. I, you know, I get worried plugging in my guitar and my pedals sometimes. This is about as audio as it gets right here, buddy. You seem to know a lot yeah. about this stuff. No, I'm just, uh, I like, you appreciate it? I pre I mean, yeah, I like it. I like it and uh, appreciate it. So tell me about his rig. Is his one of those Russian rigs you were telling me about? No, there's not, there's not, there's not pretty much nothing Russian there at all. Although some of those components may have been slightly designed in Eastern European, or maybe, but maybe Polish. I don't remember all the modular uh, engineers and manufacturers but yeah that's not that those are all individual modules do you do any of this stuff at all i i know i'm like lightly familiar familiar with it i don't have a modular myself yeah. it's pretty pricey um it's a it's not it's not like the cheapest hobby just to try because each module 
is an individual custom part from a different manufacturer. Yep, my favorite part about this is uh, with us uh, instrument musicians, all the chords are black and you can never find them and you always lose them, but like, I don't know why all the chords are colored. What do you mean chords? He's just starting to create some sounds. I miss filming the end of it because I was just chilling out and watching it. Dude, fabulous set, bro. So stoked. Dude, you were blipping and it was musical and, um, and you're making me salivate. How are we looking? Oh, like that. Professional. One, two. <laughs> so now have it. Oh, oh your brother smells delicious. Meanwhile, asparagus. Now we're talking. Asparagus right here. Oh yeah. You need to put this on the top. Of it. 
now we're talking. On level. Mexican Nebbiolo. Mm -hmm. Okay, this house done. Good set, man. 